acting transport minister says the hunt for Flight 370 has reached, quote, a critical juncture. Hishmadun Hussein made the comment Saturday in Kuala Lumpur. The underwater drone being used to scan for debris from the missing plane will wrap up its mission within a week. The mini submarine codenamed Bluefin 21, which began its seventh mission, has come up empty-handed so far. As CCTV's Andy Saputra reports, it remains a long and painstaking process. Right now, what they're doing is they're searching these four high-priority areas in the Indian Ocean. This is the spots where they heard pings that they uh, have reason to believe came from MH370's black boxes. So what they're doing now uh, is they're putting the bluefin under the water uh, to search these areas, uh, but if they can't find anything, they will move on to what they call a strategic search. This is, this is basically uh, 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 putting a big grid in the Indian Ocean uh, following the, the project tra trajectory of the uh, plane was and just starting searching f on the bottom of the sea from there. That's why there, there were talks of getting more equipments to come in because there's going to be a lot more area that they will have to cover. And this is uh, an unprecedented search and rescue effort. Uh, almost 20 countries, uh, over 20 countries have been involved. A lot of them have bared the cost of this, uh, of this search and rescue operation that has already been called the most expensive search and rescue operation in aviation history. But the mood here, uh, they're, they're all uh, very supportive of their government's actions in helping uh, this search and rescue. They're very proud uh, that the, uh, there's a sense of brotherhood uh, between the nations here. We spoke to one U.S. Captain Navy who is in charge of the search and rescue operation. He said that this, this search and rescue operation is the best case in history of a multinational uh, cooperation uh, and with the best intention of finding some solace for the families of MH370. Certainly, uh, there's a lot of doubts uh, if they're going to find the MH370 just because of the length of time, but uh, they, are, they are keeping their optimism. And one thing for certain is that they're very proud uh, that the countries here are doing all they can to help.